Hello friends. So in this tutorial, I'm going to start to show how we draw the shear force diagram and how we draw the bending moment diagram. So go to the static structural. So in engineering data, the selected material is steel. So there is no need to change the material. So next go to the geometry. Right click on the geometry, go to the new design mod modular geometry. So for finding the shear force and bending moment diagram, first uh, let's take an example of cantilever beam. As you look in the figure, this is a cantilever beam there. We apply the load at the end and one it is fixed. So this is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram. In the analytical method we make, let's go to the numerical method and uh, make the uh, cantilever beam in the ANSYS and just do the analysis. So first go to the XY plane and make it normal. Now again here. So in this uh, analysis we are done the analysis in 2D sketch. So in the previous video I have I had done the analysis in the 3D but uh, all the time this 3D is not a successful because the structure is big so it is very difficult to do the mesh and uh, apply the boundary condition in the computer. The computer is also taking very much time to solve that analysis so we are go for 2D analysis. So the result of this 2D analysis is very much similar to the 3D analysis. Look how it Similars, I will show you in this video. So first to make a 2D line go to a sketch and uh, choose a line and first change the unit from millimeter to meter. Now go to the dimension. So this is not in, so H1, suppose uh, 1000 meter, 1000 mm. And V2, so this is not in, So make it new from a start over. Go to XY plane, sketch, select line. Now it is in middle. Again go to dimension. H1, 1000 mm and uh, ask for generate. So once you generate, this is the line. So next process is how to keep the cross section. So the next step is to apply the cross section. Just go for concept and there is an option cross section. You choose the cross section. So our cross section is rectangle. So this is rectangle and uh, it is 100 mm so this is 100 mm into 100 mm generate now go to the modeling go to concept there is an option line from sketches click on this now here it is asking to apply the base object so just select this line and apply and generate after generating you see one additional option that is one part body is created here so go to the part body choose line body and here asking to select the cross section so go to the cross sections and select rectangle 
and uh, go to generate now you see still the cross section is not applied so what you do for this just go to the concept just go to view and uh, there is an option of cross section solid if you click on the cross section solid so this cross section is visible now so by this process you can apply the cross section so next we have to do the analysis so just go to the model now see here this line is imported so what we do next the process is same जो भी प्रोसेस हम इसमें करेंगे वो जैसे हम 3D डी में करते थे सेम प्रोसेस वी डन हियर सो द नेक्स्ट स्टेप इज हियर मेस तो गो टू मेस देन जेनरेट मेस सो दिस लाइन इज मेस्ट सो अगेन गो फॉर फाइनर सपोज 50 mm and go to solve to become more finer so this is not still not very much fine again 30 and go for update now this is somehow fine so next process is the apply the boundary condition so how we can apply the boundary condition here the process is the same just go to the static structure and uh, the we have to fix one end so go to the fix support so instead of edge or the face you just select the vertex and uh, choose this vertex and apply kyunki yahan pe process same hai जो बीम में क्या करते थे कि एक एज को हम लोग फिक्स करते थे सो सिमिलरली इंस्टीड ऑफ फिक्सिंग एज वी आर फिक्सिंग ए पॉइंट बिकॉज दिस इज द टू डी स्ट्रक्चर सो नेक्स्ट हमको यहां पर दिस इंड इज द फ्री सो ये फ्री इंड रहेगा तो ओनली वी हैव टू प्रोवाइड द लोड एट दिस इंड सो गो टू द स्टेटिक स्ट्रक्चर लोड एंड अप्लाई द फोर्स जस्ट दिस पॉइंट अप्लाई and just provide the magnitude go to the vector change into component now this is in z direction so just in z direction suppose uh, uh, i will give 10 kN load it looks like a similar so here there is a load w so i will choose randomly 10 kN load the direction is in upward direction just change the direction so i will change the direction now the direction is in downward direction so the boundary condition is uh the boundary condition sahi hai tab uske baad agle step mein kya karna hai so we have go to the solution in the next step so go to the static structural here you see one end is fixed and this another end is free where i apply the load of 20 kN sorry 10 kN so now go for the solution solve so after solving the result which is came it is very much similar to the 3d analysis now the solution is in process now the solution is okay and uh, then go for the solution insert and now see here there is a two option one is the beam result and beam tool which is unhide if you see in the 3d we, the result uh, the solution you get only for the deformation and uh, the probe and the volume but in the 2d these two are the extra which is unhide so we are deal only with this beam result we are go for bending moment and again the solution beam beam result 
then go for shear force and also if you want to see the stress then go to the beam tool and select beam tool because inside the beam tool you will find the maximum stress and deformation so then go for solution so go to solve and once it's solved just click on this total bending moment now it looks like similar as a 3d so if you want to look with animation so how this beam deform when you apply 10 kN at one end which is free so the total bending moment is uh, look here here 1 into 10 to the power 7 newton meter that is if you convert into kilo uh, newton meter so 10 to the so it is 100 kilo newton meter so if you convert this 1 into 10 to the power 7 it will become 10 kilo newton meter so this is the maximum bending moment now go for shear force so the maximum shear force is 10 kilo newton force which is as we know that the maximum shear force in the cantilever beam is uh, at the fixed support so next beam tool now the direct stress so this is the direct stress now combined stress and this is the maximum combined stress and this is the minimum combined stress so the maximum 60 mega pascal where it is this is here the maximum stress and uh, now for the shear force bending moment diagram go to the solution insert and go to the beam result and there is one option here and moment diagram just click now it is asking the path on which path you want to make the shear force diagram suppose I want to make from this point to this point so I need to create one path for this so for uh, creating a path go to the geometry go to the model right click on the model insert and there is a construction geometry so inside this construction geometry click on the right click on the construction geometry insert and the, there is option path so here I have to create a path so it path type the path type is one is the two point or one is the edge so choose edge just select this edge and uh, apply so the path is created now next again go to the shear force bending moment diagram path just uh, insert this path and uh, ask to solve now see this is the shear force and bending moment diagram now see this is the shear force diagram and this is the bending moment diagram and this is the deflection diagram so this is the bending moment diagram rectangle that you match with this this is also a rectangle only the change in the direction it doesn't matter so this is the shear force diagram which is like a rectangular here the shear force diagram like a rectangle and there is a one additional this is the deformation diagram the maximum deformation at point zero is 0 mm and uh, at 4000 uh, sorry 1000 mm the maximum deformation is 2.015 mm so and the maximum bending moment that is 10 kN meter and maximum shear force that is 10 kN so like this you can draw the shear force and bending moment diagram and do the analysis so you can also look the shear force and bending moment diagram 10,000 go to the report view and inside the report view you can also check this is your 2D model now in this figure this is for this is for the shear force diagram 
and this is for the bending moment diagram and this is the deformation diagram hey look there is a static structure solution the total shear moment diagram and uh, if you see here the total shear mo moment diagram and total displacement and total shear force from 0 to 1000 mm you can see here the total bending moment diagram it is maximum at uh, length 0 and it is continuously decreasing to 1000 mm and the deformation at 1000 mm is maximum and it is continuously declining to length 0 so the total deformation length at 0 and uh, the shear force that is 10 kN it is constant throughout the length so by this we can analyze the shear force and bending moment diagram so that's all for today thank you